हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन दैट द फोर्स ऑफ मोटर एम on the cable is shown in the graph determine the velocity of the 400 kg crate a when t equals to 2 seconds so we are given the motor force as a function of time right so we are given this graph and that f is equal to 625 t square so now we can draw the free body diagram so let's say if this is if this is our pulley and here we have that tension t in this rope or chain right let's say this is that tension t so since it's only one rope it's a continuous rope so we will have that same tension t in the other side of the chain and similarly uh, here we have this weight right so this weight will be acting vertically downward and the mass of the crate is 400 kg so the weight will be 400 times 9.81 so what will happen is that initially this motor will try to overcome the weight of this crate right so initially the crate will not move but this motor will tend to move this crate upward right with some velocity so first we have to find that that time for which this motor will try to lift this weight right so before uh the motion the crate is in static equilibrium right so we we need to apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 before starting the motion right so before starting the motion the summation of forces along y will be equal to 0 so if this is our positive x and y direction so as we can see that this t is acting in the positive y direction and this t is acting in the positive y direction so we can write that we have plus 2t forces in the positive y direction minus that weight which is 400 times 9.81 and this will be equal to 0 since for some time it will be in equilibrium or we can say that t to t is equal to 400 divided into 9.81 and if we divide both side of the equation by 2 so we will get that tension in the rope or chain right which is a, which is attached to this motor so 400 divided by 2 is 200 so this is 200 multiplied by 9.81 so this gives us tension equals to 1962 newtons right so t equals to 1962 newtons right and the force of the motor the the force of the motor will be equal to the tension in this or we can say that the tension in this rope will be equal to the force applied by the motor right so we can say that this t will be equal to that f which is equal to 625 t square so now we can say that this t is equal to the force of the motor which is 625 t square equals to 1962 so this is t square so we can find this t right so we can say that this t square will be equal to 1962 divided by 625 and if we take the square root so we will get the time for which uh, this crate will be in equilibrium right So now we can say that uh, 1962 divided by 625. So this is equal to 1.772, right? So T equals to 1.772 seconds. So for T equals to 1.772 second, the motor is trying to move this crate, right? So until T equals to 1.772, the crate is at rest. That is in st static equilibrium, right? now after this uh, the crate is in motion right so the crate will be moving with some velocity or with some acceleration and let's say that the acceleration in the y direction is let's say e right so again uh, after t equals to 1.772 seconds the crate will be moving with some acceleration so after t equals to 1.772 we can again apply the summation of forces along y equals to m e y since this time the crate is in, is accelerating right So now again we will have these two t forces in the positive y direction so i can write 2t minus the weight of the crate which is again 400 times 9.81 and this time it will be equal to the mass of the crate is 400 so this is 
into a y and a y equals to a right. So, I will multiply this with a. Let me put this t equals to as we know that t is equal to 625 t square. So, let me put t equals to 625 t square minus 400 into 9.81 equals to 400 a and now if I divide each term by 400 right. So, this will be 400 this will be 400 and this is 400. So, this will give us acceleration this will cancel out right. So, we will be left with acceleration in terms of t. So, now this is this coefficient is 2 multiply by 625 divided by 400. So, this gives me 3.125 3.125 t square and this 400 will cancel out. So, we will be left with minus 9.81 equals to acceleration or we can write acceleration on this side right. So, the acceleration as a function of time we have this acceleration as a function of time and the units of this acceleration is in meter per second square. Now, we are required to find the velocity right. So, as we know that acceleration is dv by dt and we can write that this is again that same acceleration is 3.125 t square minus 9.81 and we can multiply both side of the equation by dt right. So, this will cancel out and now we can integrate this right. So, we need to integrate this from 0 to e since initially the creative is at rest right that is in static equilibrium and the crate is at rest until t equals to 1.772. So, we have to integrate this from 1.772 to t equals to 2 seconds right. So, we are given that we need to find the velocity when t is equal to 2 seconds right. So, these are the boundary conditions. So, now integration will be cancelled out with this d. So, we will have v minus 0 or we can say this is v and now if we integrate this. So, this will be 3.125 t rest to the power 3 divided by 3 minus 9.81 t and this is from 1.772 until 2 seconds right. So, first I need to put t equals to 2 in this equation right. So, this is we can say that this is 3.125 divided by 3 multiplied by that is 2 to the power 3 minus 9.81 into 2. So, this is the upper boundary. So, this gives us minus 11.287 minus 11.287 and then we have to subtract minus and then we have to put this lower boundary value right. So, now we need to put uh, instead of 2 we need to put 1.772. So, 1.772 and 1.772. So, this gives us minus 11.587 minus 11.587 and if we multiply this, so this will become positive right. So, this is plus. So, now we can find that velocity which is minus 11.287 plus 11.587. So, the velocity is 0.3 meter per second. So, after t second the crate will have velocity of 0.3 meter per second right. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood uh, this problem solution. Kindly subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed it yet. Also like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems.